Now let's start with scaling our data in Jupyter Notebook. So here we have again the same code that imports our data set and all the libraries that we needed as of now. Now the first thing that we are going to look is normalization. Normalization scales all values in a fixed range between 0 and 1. This transformation does not change the distribution of the feature and due to the decreased standard deviation, the effects of the outliers increases. So therefore, before normalization is implemented, it is recommended to handle the outliers. So let's handle out the outliers from the old code that you might recall out. So we have a lower limit, we have a higher limit. So let's set to 65 and 60. And we can always check out the box plot if we need. So data dot box plot. And let's pass age column. Let's take control X, paste it out over here. Oops. Just, okay, there's a typo. Okay. So all the outliers has been moved out from the titanic data set now let's start with normalizing the data normalizing the data is again quite simple we will be using our sklm library sklm.preprocessing import we will be using min max scalar now let's create an object of it naming norm and then we will be passing min max scalar. Okay. That's it. Now, if it has been done, so in the same line, what we can do is rather than writing norm dot fit, what I can do in a single line is over here itself, I can write fit, and inside of this, I have to write or mention the x. So x is an array-like shape of n samples and n feature right now so our x should be the age that is data age but if we check data age it is not actually of the data type array so we have to convert into an array of n features so let's check it again n features and n samples and n features for that, so what we can do is let's take data.age and let's take the values. From the values, what I'm going to do is values will convert this to an array and I will reshape this array to minus one one. And let's check. So yeah, we are having an array right now. So let's take the same code and let's assign same code, copy it out, paste it and fit and that just converts everything up now what i'm going to do is let's assign this to data age data age is equal to norm dot transform let's transform it up and let's pass the same thing that is we have to convert this one that is this array what we have yeah. These are all the values that we have in data.age and we have to convert it and add it as if you could see in the fit, this one takes input x as an array like of shape n samples and n features. So we have to pass out an array. That's why I'm converting it to an array using values dot re reshape into minus one one. That is the shape of it. Now let's check if it has worked just fine date dot age okay so everything has been scaled up in the range of 0 to 1 how to check it so what we can do is just pass an histogram so let's pass plot dot hist and inside of this let's pass our age okay so it's in the range of 0 to 1 just to check out what we will do is just go to the first line execute all the cells again and let's check before passing this out let's check what's so it's in the range of 10 to somewhere between 70 80 and let's pass all of these cells and let's check so now all of these 
have converted into the range of 0 to 1 0 that is 0 to 1 you can see that both the diagram are same exact the similar copy only the difference is the scale or the range of values has been changed from 10 or somewhere between 0 to 70 it has been converted to 0 to 1 that what normalization does the next thing is standardization or z score normalization it scales the values while taking into account standard deviation in the above normalization you have seen that we weren't using standard deviation but in uh, standardization we are going to take uh, standard deviation into account if the standard deviation of feature is different their range also would differ from each other this reduces the effect of the outliers in the features so over there we don't need to maintain the outliers so let's copy out this code as we are doing standard deviation it most of the times what it does it it will just scales up the outliers too so it's quite simple again so from sklearn dot preprocessing we have to import standard scalar that's it now let's create an object scalar equal to this step is quite similar to each and every one so standard scalar that's it and in the same place you can just fit it or else let's do it in this different line so scalar if you want to check let's say okay so this is an object of standard scalar and what i'm going to do is let's pass data dot age is equal to scalar dot fit transform let's try fit and transform it up so i'm just running this wrong transform okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the same array which we have converted out if you check the same thing over here what it needs is in x it likes array like sparks matrix or a data frame so we actually pass can pass some data frame inside of this but let's take this one and let's check data dot age so all of them have been standardized if you want to check let's check it out in the histogram it's, oops. let's copy it out and paste it out over here see so everything has been standardized so you can see the same sort of the same thing so using normalization it was in the scale of 0 to 1 0 and while we did this if you could recall from the diagram which i showed you it is in the negative range also so all the values are near mostly to the center zero that is the mean of it so that's about the standardization and normalization that's it for this section in our next section we are going to start with machine learning a bit of prerequisite that we need in machine learning then we will be jumping into the algorithms let's catch up in our next section